You want to come into our house? Yeah, that's fine, sure. <laughs> Down in the basement in the dungeon. I like that. These are cool signs. Did you ever use this? Yeah. Did you ever use it? One time. One time? Yeah. Interesting. It's been a while, and I, I don't know if you want to blow it up and make sure. Would you do 10 for it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Would you split it with me and do 15? Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Morning. No. Maybe. Seems what like. I don't know the way this is like this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's not sensitive. Well, it it velcros, but it's just like I've seen sturdier ones. You know what I mean? I know, but for five dollars. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling I was getting like that. How much are the planes? I, a couple of bucks. Okay. All right, I'll find you. How about your Stein? A dollar. Yeah, I'll do that. You have any other red stuff? Yeah, we have a ton of bobbleheads. Ton of bobbleheads. You? you want bobbleheads? Yeah. Oh yeah, I collect them. You want to come into our house? Yeah, that's fine, sure. <laughs> Down in the basement in the dungeon. No, Isabel. Hi, kitty. Yeah. <laughs> and then these, there's going to be two black ones that are going to try to get out. But they've been bad kitties, so they've been sequestered. Oh, wow. You got an awesome basement. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. All right. So. Right there. Oh, awesome. Wow. Are those the boxes for these? Um, some of the boxes are in here. Okay. And then some of the boxes are here. Some of these have the bobbleheads in these boxes. So okay. Can I look through those too? Yes, you can. Hold on. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's more over here and yeah, um, kind of everywhere. I clicked them for a really long time. And then I, I stopped. How much would they be? Um, let's say two bucks each. I'll do that. I could probably feel which ones are in the boxes. <laughs> yeah, some of them I don't know. Because he decided to take them all out. That's a cool Funko Pop. Is that for sale too? Which one? Oh, no. He shouldn't be in there. I'm <laughs> so sorry. No, don't apologize. You're fine. We've got some Darth Vader's here too if you were looking for those. Yeah, those should not be in there. Appreciate you letting me look through these. Yeah, no worries. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That works out nice and easy. So 40 bucks. Yep. And you're free to take the box. Thank you. I appreciate that. There you go. Thanks. Thank you so much. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I can't tell you this one. That's no mine. I'm yeah. so sorry. Don't Here, apologize. I'll get you, I'll get you two boxes. Here, I'll just, pick, <laughs> I'll just pick out a different one. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. It's all right. Here, I'll just pick out something else out of here. I'll just do a Brandon Phillips. Yep, there you go. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, it. it's all good. Okay. 
I love Johnny too. I get it. He's my all time favorite. Did you never use your uh, telescope? Did I ever use it? Yeah. I used it like once or twice. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't. Uh... I'll take it for eight bucks, and then you got headphones. Yep, I got headphones for fifteen. So we go get twenty-three. Okay. There you go. If I bought all three of your Cavassier posters, would you do twenty each? Yep. Okay, so you another sixty. I can carry these. Okay, cool. Places. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank Cute you. dog, by the way. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. oh, so <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually dog sitting. He's not in mine. Oh, so cute. Okay. Yeah. 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 They're Lulu Row leggings. Never worn. My daughter had a shop. Oh, oh yeah, four for the jacket. Alrighty. Because all they had was in women's. They had one size, uh, petite, you and Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you. How much is your club? That one? Yeah. Two dollars. I think I'll take it. Okay. Would you do two on these? Uh, that's up to her. Sure. Okay. You owe you four. <laughs> What's Darcy's, that? Darcy's um, okay, so is this that's boat? A pontoon it's boat a pontoon seat. boat seat. No you kidding. You that, right? <laughs> yeah, for the <laughs> pontoon boat that I don't have. You don't have one. But you know somebody. No. <laughs> Here, you gave me four. Yeah, two yeah. for this and two for... Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys, it is now Monday morning. We went to a lot of garage sales on Saturday and found a ton of stuff. I didn't have time Saturday to bring it all back here and get it all unloaded, but I've got everything unloaded now. I'm going to show you what we found. At one sale, I bought a uh, Cincinnati Red Stein, and I just happened to ask if they had anything, of you know, other Cincinnati Red stuff, and she's like, yeah, we've got a bunch of bobbleheads, so... She took me down to her basement and there was a ton of bobbleheads. I picked out 20 of them. Most of these I think I'm just gonna keep for my own collection. They were $2 each. A lot, some of the ones she had, I had already had and I just didn't think were worth a whole lot of money. That's a cool one right there. Dusty Baker with the toothpicks. He's an old Reds manager. Brand Phillips, there's a Joey Vada one. There's a bunch of them in there. So for $2 each, it's really hard to go wrong. I got this whole case of label guns at one sale. I paid $10 for the whole thing. And I looked some of these up. Let's see, what is it? Monarch Marking 1170. And they sell pretty well. It seems like they're going, you know, $10, $15 each. I'll probably make some lots of them. Um, you know, it seems like they're in working order. I really don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of testing with them. But I think there's at least 10 of them in there. So that's a great price for those. I got this Tigger Air Blown Inflatable. And it is the Halloween version, seven feet tall. She said it works fine. I got it for 15 bucks. It's really hard to say what this is worth. Comps are a little bit all over the place, but I think at least 50 to $75 probably. It's, you know, it's used. So it's definitely not gonna be worth as much as if it was new, but these things are really popular. If you guys see these giant inflatables, pick them up. I think Halloween ones specifically do really well uh, and definitely licensed characters, you know, like Tigger, like anything Disney related would do good. I got this uh, Oster ice cream maker for 10 bucks, new in the box, and that's going for like 50 or 60. Got some Beach Boys posters. This one right here, I think is from 
the 90s, maybe late 80s. Okay, 1988. This just has such a cool look to it. I think I'm going to keep this and just hang it up at the new office. Then I got a couple other Beach Boy posters right here. He said this one is original. Let's see, it is from, well, I don't see a year on there. Probably early 90s if I had to guess. He said this one is a reprint of their first uh, tour. And each of these were $5. And I'm pretty sure I paid $5 for that one too. Picked up this vintage inflatable uh, like pool thing. Carefree mat. I've seen some people get crazy money for some of these. Like $50, $100. I don't think this one's worth that much. I might get $20 or $30. But I only paid a couple bucks for that. I spotted this jacket. And I've never seen this brand. So it caught my eye. It's TYR. has this really cool stripe going down the arm. I paid $4 for this, and again, I can't remember what comps were, but I want to say it was at least $30 or $40, so I think this might be a brand to look out for. I got some golf clubs at one sale for $5 each, and they are all name brand. We've got a Callaway X460 driver, TaylorMade ATV wedge. Let's see, this is a different one, actually. I paid two for this one at a different sale. This is a Nikent F26 hybrid. Here's a Callaway X16 sand wedge. Here's a nice TaylorMade driver, Jet Speed, and here is a TaylorMade R5 XL. I think I should be able to average $30 a club on these. Some will sell for only about $20, but then other ones will sell for $40 or $50, so really happy with that find. I got this Surfing Santa. Um, I want to say it was only a couple bucks. Everything at that guy's sale was pretty cheap. This was with all the Beach Boy stuff. I got this uh, 70 Light Curtain Chili Pepper set. Just really, really cool. I highly doubt they've ever used this. They probably got it as a gift, but I mean, it's just like perfect mint in the package. And I want to say I paid three or four dollars for that. Just a really cool piece. Got this Cincinnati Reds cassette tape uh, at the same sale as the Beach Boy stuff. Probably just going to keep that. Got this awesome leather wrapped horse. I don't know a maker or anything on here, but that was only a couple bucks. Got some video games at one sale. Let's see. Song of the Deep for Xbox One, Payday, Mirror's Edge, Dishonored, Minecraft, Dragon's Dogma. Those are only 50 cents each. Got some records for 50 cents each. Bob Dylan, Hard Rain. I might keep that. I'm a big Dylan fan. Village People. Look at that makeup. Holy cow. That's awesome. This is neat. Shaved Fish, Linen, Plastic Ono Band. I've never seen this record before. Pat Benatar and Heart. Got some more stuff down here. Picked up this. Bushnell Voyager telescope looked like pretty much brand new in the box, but she said she only used it once or twice That was only eight dollars. Then I got some Guitar Hero stuff. I got Guitar Hero 3 for Xbox 360 and Guitar Hero 2 I paid ten for the pair and I want to say hmm. I want to say one of these might be wireless so even if I only can sell the dongles, I think I'll make money because the dongles do pretty well. But I'm going to try to sell the guitars. I haven't sold a Guitar Hero guitar in a while, so I honestly don't know what the going rate for them is these days. Then right here was absolutely my best find of the day. I got three Cavassier posters. And the only reason I knew that these might have some value is because of the SNL skit, The Ladies' Man with Tim Meadows. I'm Leon Phelps. How y'all doing? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I got my uh, Cavatier right here. If you guys remember that character, he always drank Cavatier. I think this lady was some kind of liquor rep. Like there was like Tito's vodka and all kinds of different like liquor stuff. So I think that's how she got these. She had a price of 35 each. And I offered 20 each if I bought all three. And she said, yeah. When I bought them, I really didn't know what they were worth. I looked them up a little bit later. But I think these might have some value. There are zero sold comps on eBay. There's, and then there's only two active listings. One person's asking like $800 for one. Another person's asking $500. So I don't know what they're worth. But they are really cool. They're all framed. Let's see. They're from the 90s. So this one is from 94. This one is from 91. Let me flip this back around to show you guys. Just a really cool look to them. And then this one is from 93. I'll put all those on eBay. And personally, the way I like to ship posters is I'll take them out of the frame. And I will put in the description that these will not be shipped in frames. These will be rolled and shipped in poster tubes. Because I think that's the best way to protect them. Because if you ship something with a glass frame, there's 
a pretty decent risk of it cracking and then damaging the poster. And I, most people want to put it in their own frames anyways. Um, if I was selling it local, of course, you know, absolutely. I'd leave it in the frame. No big deal. But that's the way I've always shipped posters. I've never had an issue. So just a little quick tip for you guys if you're planning on shipping any posters. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.